before I continue, this is just the beginning. Sophie's gonna come up and bring our biography for the evening. I want you guys to give her a hand as she comes with her bad self, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I don't know about you guys, but I was charged tonight after that introduction by D Justin. I don't understand how some of you are still sitting in your seat cold. Because after an introduction like that, after you stirred up the atmosphere, honestly, I would be up on my two feet just giving God glory. Amen? Amen. So, tonight we honor generational curse breakers. We know that it's not easy for young people to come together and stand in the gap, especially in this day and age. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Generational Curse Breakers was created on October 31st, 2018. They honor God on this day for giving them the opportunity to celebrate their second anniversary. How was this group created? An answer everyone wants to know. It all started with this young lady who would pray countless nights. She'd wake up in the middle of the night and pray for her family, her friends, and those who were sick. She loved the Lord and thrived to become the best version of herself every day. One day, this young lady spoke to herself and said that she would be the next generational curse breaker. But what she didn't know was that the words she spoke were coming into existence. God turned her words into action. And in that same year, the process started. One night, she was assigned to pray with one of her family members. This person was possessed with demonic spirits. And yes, I said spirits, plural. God used her as a vessel and that person was set free. During that same night, God ministered through her to a prayer group and named them Generational Curse Breakers. It has not been an easy task, but God has kept her. There are days where she begs for mercy. At times, people approach her seeking for help explaining the challenges that they have. In her moments of despair, she is reminded by her older sister that she will never get, God will never give her more than she can bear and that she needs to keep moving forward. As a full-time student who also works, some nights she comes home from work very late and even though she's tired, she keeps her commitment and joins the prayer line. Although this has not been easy for her, God keeps her going no matter what. She has endured many obstacles, yet she refuses to give up. With God by her side, as well as the members of her ministry, she continues to do the work of the Lord. This prayer group continues to be a beacon of light for this community. They pray for and visit the sick in the hospital. They stand in the gap for the youth of this generation, and they continue to intercede for their loved ones. God has been such a blessing for this ministry, and I know at this point you all are wondering, who is this young lady? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we welcome the leader of Generational Curse Breakers, Sister Soline
Oh God! 